Hi guys, Rob 46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We managed to get a second place at Harath in the Grand Prix. Um, next up, we have got the test at Harath, so I'm hoping we can improve our Yamaha and uh, be a bit more competitive. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so what do we want to work on? We definitely want to work on the engine. That is something that has been holding us back. Um, so we definitely want to do that. Um, what about spec B? Um, spec A would do that. We'll do engine on both. See what it gives us. Okay, so the bikes themselves. Spec A, engine power is up 3, controlled fuel delivery up 1, and electronic development is up 1. Spec B, nothing on engine power, but controlled fuel delivery up 1, aerodynamic load up 3, and electronic development up 1. So either way, we're going to have improved uh, controlled fuel delivery and improved electronics, which is good. Hopefully that will help with our um, anti-wheelie. So we'll start with spec A. Um, in terms of tyres, 39. Yeah, we'll stick with the mediums. Right, let's go out. Let's see how we go with a more powerful engine. lap times we can do. Rear tyre. Oh, that was a bit of a moment. I was about to say the rear tyre feels like it's slipping a little bit more. Oh, that's a mistake, too much rear brake. Definitely slide in a bit more.
think I'll do two runs per bike. Just so we get a fair crack at both of them. Okay, so we just did four laps on our spec A machine. Switch to spec B. We obviously want to change to new tyres. Okay, let's go out on our spec B machine and uh, see what this one's like. So this has got improved aerodynamic load rather than engine power. Let's see how we go with this one. And then we'll do two more laps with Spec A and two more laps with Spec B. So I've just done four, like I said, with Spec A. Turn one. I've got the same setup on both bikes, same gear ratios and everything.
be a little bit quicker, but not by much. Okay, uh, this will be my last lap. Okay. So we return to the pits. So we've gone a little bit quicker with our spec B machine. However, what we need to remember is that this isn't really a power track. So yeah, it's um, probably not the, the best to, to be putting on extra power, but is what it is. So we've only got one more new medium front. I guess we're only doing two laps, so we've got more rears, which is fine. So back with spec 8. Let's do a couple more laps. So we're 0.2 quicker with spec B, but it's around a circuit where engine power doesn't really matter too much.
Okay. Okay, so two more with our spec B machine. Let's put the slightly newer front in and a new rear. Go back out. So we've gone a little bit quicker with spec A. Not a huge amount, but times are pretty close. There's the last two laps. Oh, no, we're down. That wouldn't have been a very good final lap anyway, because we were three tenths down. So we'll just ride back into the pit. Oh, we missed the pit. There we go. Mr. Pit entrance. <laughs> okay. So let's finish the test. So my best lap was with the Spec B machine. However, just looking at uh, there's only one sec does quicker with the spec A machine. Uh, so fastest time with uh, spec A as a uh, 36.5. 
And then spec B was a 36.3. However, like I said, it's not really a power track. So it's probably not the best place to uh, kind of come to terms with which one's better. Did have slightly better grip with traction control on two with the spec B machine, but obviously not as much power going through the back wheel. So it's a bit of a strange one. So yeah, best lap spec A 36.547, best lap spec B 36.329. Honestly, think we do need the engine power. So let's go with spec A for uh, the next few races. We do have another test at Mugello. Uh, we've got a new rival, Brad Binder, on the Grassini Ducati. Okay. Finish in front of Brad Binder in the standings. Okay. That's good. It's going to be dry by the looks of it at uh, Le Mans. We go to Catalonia, Mugello, and then Mugello test, and then we have the summer break. But yeah, no more tests after that. So where are we in terms of the team comparative now? Pretty much exactly the same as where we were. In fact, we've probably dropped down slightly. I think we were maybe one place up. So just above uh, VR46. Okay. Fine. Okay. Well, there's no point really going through the standings again because they haven't changed since the previous race. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video when we go to Le Mans. See you.